Hey everybody! Hey! I was not expecting this to happen today. In the last 24 hours, we have received the variety cover shoot, photo shoot, and all of that, the lie detector video on YouTube. Have Is you gotten a BBL? <laughs> And then now, Eternal Sunshine, slightly deluxe and also live with also the announcement of live performances, like videos that she's gonna be posting throughout the week. What? <laughs> like she really didn't have to do that, but she did it anyways. Seven of the songs off Eternal Sunshine, Miss Ariana decided to do a live version of just like she did with the Yours Truly 10 year anniversary. Today I'm gonna be reacting to the seven live versions of Eternal Sunshine songs that Ariana Grande put out today. I did indeed react to Eternal Sunshine when it came out a few months ago. So if you want to go check that out, I'll have it linked. So today I'm just going to be listening to the live versions like I did for the Yours Truly 10 year anniversary. I'm not going to wait for every single live video performance to come out. I need to listen to these songs right now, okay? It was really exciting to listen to the Yours Truly 10 year anniversary live performances because on one end, you know, those songs were a decade old and she hadn't performed a lot of the ones she chose in a long time in full. So getting to hear her voice now sing those songs was really special. This is going to be really exciting because we haven't heard her sing a lot of these songs live And I'm excited to hear how she sounds if she's gonna, like what runs she's gonna throw in there You know what I mean? Like you never know with this woman, okay? She's gonna switch it up somehow. She's gonna add some flair and I need to hear it, okay? Like I said, we have seven songs to react to today. Some of my faves from this album are in here and I'm very excited. Should we just get into it? I don't have anything else to say. Um, if you've never seen one of my reactions before, hey, I guess since I'm not really reacting to any new song, like I've already heard these songs, you know what I mean? So there's not gonna be really any critiques off my end. This is really just gonna be like, I don't know, an eight minute, 10 minute video of me just fangirling and flipping out over how much I love this woman. Maybe I'll cry. Who knows? I've been crying a lot in my videos lately over people I love. Okay, let's get into it. Let's start with the first song, intro, end of the world, live version. When I listened to the song for the first time, I didn't love it. I don't hate any songs off this album. I like every song off this album. However, this was one of the ones that I didn't like as much as I liked the other ones. So let's see if she can change my mind by performing it live. Cause you know, that has happened before with other songs of hers. Let's get into it. I am not even kidding. We are two seconds in and I know this is really f***ing annoying that I just did that. Pressed play for two seconds, freaked out, and then paused. Like, I forgot to mention that when she does these live performances, she brings in those string instruments. And if you have never watched one of my reactions before, there is something that I love so much about a string instrument alongside a pop song or an alternative song or a rock song or something where it normally you'd think it wouldn't fit, but I think it just does something to my brain. And these live performances that I totally forgot that was even a thing that could be a possibility. And now here I am freaking out because intro, end of the world, starts off immediately with a string melody. She knows what I want and she's giving it to me. Okay, I'm gonna start it over. Let's run that back. Ugh. Oh. Ooh, it's very romantic sounding now. I cannot tell if I'm in the right relationship. Feel it in your bones and know that shit. Ooh. I know I am right now. Ooh. I don't get Shut up. That little run. Would you want me to do when I'm already hearing it. I just love her voice so much and hearing it live really ignites something in me. Hey, that's really not cool. That was so delicate and beautiful. That song is just short and sweet. Hey, it's great. That part, tens across the board. She killed it, she killed it. Okay, let's go into the next one. Next up, we have Don't Wanna Break Up Again, which like I said, is in my top three off this album. I think my top three in no particular order by Don't Wanna Break Up Again and Eternal Sunshine. Those are my big three. Let's get into it. Shut up. Stop! Oh my god! 
voice sounded kind of raspy there. Like. The string is so interesting on this song. It's sounding so good. Like she is low key reinventing the song. And that's what I love when she does this shit. It just brings out a whole new side of this song. Oh, that run? Play it back, play it back. So subtle. You really gotta listen, guys. Are you listen are you paying attention? Are you listening? Was, Was it, it crispy? crispy? <laughs> Ooh. We gotta go back and listen to that part again because that that was crazy. That was crazy. Dude, here's the thing. In the grand scheme of things, that wasn't that crazy, but I think I was just missing that from the original song. Like that's why I love hearing her sing live because she really takes her songs to the next level that you didn't think they could even reach. You know what I mean? Like, that made me re-fall in love with that song. Let's go on to the next one. We have arguably one of the best songs off the album, and that would be the title track, Eternal Sunshine. I am just so excited to hear these songs that she hasn't performed live yet. Also, again, I wanna know what made her choose these songs out of all of them to sing for this. Let's go, Eternal Sunshine, let's go. Ooh, the plucking. Ooh. I'm floating, guys. Mm. Oh, my God. Also, I just have to say, <laughs> I'm an Imogen Heap fan. I, listening to this song for the first time, did not realize that Just For Now was interpolated into this. How did I not catch that? I don't know. I was just too excited to hear new Ariana music. I literally, I think in that reaction video said, oh my God, this part sounds like an Imogen Heap song. Like no sh <laughs> I love that song. I don't know how anyone doesn't like that song off this album. Very impactful. Next, let's go on to Supernatural. I feel like Supernatural has a lot of moments that could let her lean into those crazy runs she likes to do. Just like Don't Wanna Break Up Again. So I'm very excited to hear it. My hair is pissing me off. Sometimes my hair pisses me off so bad that I just think about going bald. I think about shaving my head quite frequently, actually. Okay, whatever. Let's get into Supernatural. Let's hear her. Right, come on. Ooh. Oh, I love that part. Wow, I love that note so much. Love. Absolutely love. Adore it. Supernatural. Yeah. 
she sounds like... out of this world, guys. All right, let's go on to Yes And. Did she sing? Th guys, I can never, I can't remember if she sang this live or not. I don't think she sang this live yet. So uh, let's give it a go. I have no idea how this is going to sound live. Honestly, I haven't listened to this song in a while. Since the album came out, I kind of prioritized listening to every other song. When Yes And originally came out, I went so hard listening to it that I think I wore myself out. So I haven't been listening to it as frequently. So I'm excited to hear her twist on this one because I'm not sure how much else there is to do with this song. I don't know, let's just hear how she sounds. I will never get over this beat. Like, sorry, it's so good. And y'all just don't understand, okay? She's misunderstood. It's so good, come on. Did she skip the intro? She snipped off the intro. That's my favorite part. This part? Wait, that's so sad. She did this to me last time, guys. She did this to me last time during the yours truly thing when I went to go sing Big Sean's part and she cut it out. Y'all. Ariana, why are you doing this to me? Okay, let's get back into it. I take it back, I take it back. Cause that one run alone, that made up for it. Hey, that made up for it. I need to hear it again. That was so good. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why it's not hitting me as hard as I thought it would. I think it's because it sounds like, have y'all seen on TikTok? Those really talented folks out there, I'll tell, I'll give them that, who put together live show concepts. Have you seen those where they like do like an AI cover of these songs live, the ones she hasn't sang yet? So like I heard a yes and AI live version and it low key sounds exactly like this. So I think that's why it's freaking me out a little bit. Uh, cause technology is scary. Yeah, and I think it's just really throwing me off. It's still great though, beautiful. Her voice still sounds great. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. I love listening to Ariana live because you can tell when she's really feeling herself because she throws in all her little tricks. Like she's really going for it and I love that. It's so fun. I think that song live would be better like in person, feeling the energy of everybody. When talking about like live shows and concerts, like it truly is the energy of having everyone there and having the artist feed off that and then you're piping each other up. Like that's what I love most about concerts. So like hearing this song, which I know would be so good, live in person at a show. It's not doing this song justice, I don't think, in like a, a live recording of it. Does that make any sense? I think it would be better live in person than live as a recording. I still liked it though, of course, I loved it. We have two left. Let's go on to We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love. And I infamously have said that I don't love this song. One of my least favorites off this album. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just cause I've heard it so damn much that I'm just like tired of it. I don't think it's bad, it's just not for me. And there are other songs off this album that I vibe with more. But I'm excited again to hear it live because who knows, it could completely switch up how I feel. I didn't think you'd understand me. Whoa, the isolation? Oh my God. Whoa, that's crazy. Cause I don't so, but I don't guys, guys, the string. I can hear it. She did release a string version of this song and I had so many of y'all reach out to me and be like, look what she did. And I was like, I know guys, she did this for me. And that version of the song, I will say, I liked, I think more than the original. This might be it for me. This might be the version of the song that makes me finally fall in love with it. <laughs> Cause wow. Oh, 
That string goes crazy. Ugh. Yeah, I think I my prediction was right and that this version, the live version from the Slightly Deluxe is my favorite of this song, of this song. I didn't love the original song. Then she released the string version and I was like, oh, I could get into this. And then she released the live from Jungle City Studios and I was like, I see what you could be doing with this song and I kind of like that. So combining those two versions that I really liked is basically just this. And I love it, guys, it's great. That intro is insane. It is silent, dude. That with headphones on is really gonna be an experience. All right, last up we have Imperfect For You. I love this song, Imperfect For You. All right, let's get into it. Our last song, let's go. My boy, come take my hand, my love. Ooh. Don't understand. Oh. I'll hold your heart in the box here beside me. Yeah. so good on this we have Ooh, that was so pretty string oh i hear it yeah i hear it and i love it oh wow Oh my god, I love that. Oh my god. Okay, I think Don't Wanna Break Up Again was definitely my favorite out of this bunch, but they were all so good. They all brought something different to the song. Oh, I just love when she does any live performance ever, and I'm still heartbroken we didn't get anything from my everything. Ugh, it breaks my heart, dude. But it's fine because she gave us this. Well, that was me listening to Eternal Sunshine, the slightly deluxe and also live. Um, let me know your thoughts about this. Let me know if you think we're gonna get a deluxe, and if so, when. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe down below for more videos from me. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'll see y'all later. Okay, bye.